Hey there, and welcome back to Arlen Plays Earthbound, episode 37. Yes, last time we were working our way through this pyramid, and this time it's more of the same, because unfortunately we are not out of it yet. So... Let's see what we can find, shall we? Okay... Apparently I stopped the last episode just before a boss! Hmm. Hello, Guardian General. We're gonna use the Pharaoh's Curse on you. What else? What does Paula have that we want to see what it does? Ah, uh, okay, nothing here that we want her to use there. Let's see, what do we want? Hmm. Well, let's just bring out the big guns, shall we? And Jeff, I could spy on you, but I am far too tempted to use this big bottle rocket and show it off. And Pooh, let's use that bag of Dragonite. Let's hopefully we can swoop down and just destroy this guy. That'd be great. Oh, hey, he solidified. And then we attempted to shatter him. Gigantic fire-breathing... Whoa! Well, that was mildly game-breaking. All right. I'll take it. Yeah, that's right. We took him down in one uh, one round before we had to e before he even had a chance to do anything. Wow. I'll take a boss fight like that any day. I mean, it's a little anticlimactic, but still. We did kind of, uh... Well, I wouldn't even say we cheated. It's more like we actually used the resources that were given to us at an appropriate time, as opposed to just squandering them on something. But, since that was a boss, I'm... Okay, the temptation is just too much. It's gonna make things harder for me later, but I don't care. I wanna see what it looks like... again. Since, you know played this game many times. Alright, let's see. Jeff, let's go back to your hungry HP sucker. And Pooh. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have you thunder as well. Thunder! Zappity zap. Nicely done, Paula. And Pooh, you are right behind, doing the exact same thing to the other person. I approve. Training HP. Wow, everybody's doing great. Okay, I like this effect. That's what <laughs> That's right. That was why I liked using 40 PP in one shot. Not really worth it for most fights, but still. You know, that's the thing. Like I think that I think that I wouldn't have found that boss fight set satisfying if I hadn't like consciously been going, "Okay, this is this is something stronger than what I usually use, but I'm going to use it anyway." So, I mean, if it wasn't for that, I think that I would have had more issue with it, but... Let's open the casket. Ta-da! There's a rain pendant. Ooh, rain pendant. Let's see, who's got the lowest defense right now? Because I have a feeling... Okay, it's probably Papa. Nope, nope, it's Pooh, but he can't equip the rain pendant, so... I guess Paula gets a new necklace. Lucky Paula. Alright. Rain pendant, if I recall. What the... It's not. Oh, it's a body thing! And we just got that crystal charm, and it's now worthless. Of course, it was also cheap, so... Not complaining too much. Actually, why don't we check it out while we, while we have the, uh... Thing open here. Crystal charm. Must be equipped on your body. It protects you from paralysis attacks. It also increases your speed. Must be equipped on your body. It protects you from freeze attacks. Okay, it doesn't... But it doesn't increase your speed. Also, son of a... Biscuit. Alright. Let's bash him into oblivion, like we do. You know, it occurs to me that I haven't even tried to steal PP from anybody. I should rectify that, considering how low Pooh is right now. I don't think he's got anything, but... Oh! Apparently it does. Of course, you know, of course it does. It used Flash last episode. And this episode. On the upside, at least Flash Alpha does not have the chance of instantly killing anyone, so there's that. Also, PSI Thunder, because clearly I cannot remember anything about these enemies. I feel dumb. Alright, there we go. Now that he's taken care of. Someone must have stepped on a switch. It sounds like something up above is moving. Ooh! The mysterious switch that I clearly stepped on. 
Still, this might explain why when I was attacked up in this room, why, or in the, uh, in the main room, why the casket disappeared. Because it's not supposed to be there. It's really just a sprite. Just like everything else. Alright. You know what, I'm just gonna run. I don't feel like dealing with this right now. And I got lucky! Hooray! I still like the idea that they're vanishing in a puff of logic. Well, if I stop fighting you, then clearly that means I beat you, right? Alright, you I'll beat the crap out of. But I also have the feeling that you don't actually have PP and cheer. Yeah. Finish it! Finish it quickly so that Pooh gets something back. Or he... Wow. So that hit like a truck and a half. Right, Pooh, I realize that things are getting a little dicey for you. But you need to keep up your strength. For lo, you are squishy. Which is unfortunate, but there's little I can do about that. Also, I really don't want to fight these guys, so I'm going to run. Apparently, Sticky Web prevented Pooh from running, and we can't leave him behind. Apparently, he also has a cold now. All right, we got away. All right, Ness, you get to you get to heal him up this time. Wow. <laughs> yeah, probably shouldn't have shouldn't have done that. Hello. There is something on the platform. Do you want to get it? Yes. Ness got the Hawkeye. Alright, so we've got the Hawkeye. Fun times. You know what? Who you hold on to it? Because, well, honestly, Ness has a mostly full inventory. Here, have the eyeball from a living hawk. Clearly that is what that was. You know, it can't be a metaphor or anything. What is it with Pooh and catching coals from these things? I mean, admittedly, for a while it was Paula, but still. I will admit this this area frustrates me, just in general, just because of the fact that it, I mean it's close quarters, so you can't even have a hope to avoid these. Not to mention most of them are too far away to try despawning, and even those that are, I, I seem to be immune to that sort of thing. But yeah, you see what I mean? There is no way to avoid them, even less than the department store. I mean, you guys watched me get reasonably lucky dealing with that stuff. Alright, you know what? Paula, just let loose. Just, just, you know, freeze him to death. I'll take that. Because he is annoying. Of course, you know, I probably should be just draining them of PP, since I do have two people that could use it. Alright, alright, I will if I have to fight any more of them. And can I get it? Aha! Victory! A magic butterfly. And a diamond band, which we don't need because we bought one for everyone. Don't don't question my accent. I, I don't know. Also, one of these, really? I, no. I'm done. Running away. Since we've established that I can get away without dying too badly. Also, apparently they suck at aiming. I'll take that. And now Ness cannot move. Oh good, you hit Jeff, the guy who can take a hit. Oh come on! Oh god, run! Run, 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 run! Thank you for running to save Jeff's life. Alright, since we have a bit of a breather... Alright, poo! Heal Jeff. Because Jeff is hurt. And Ness, tend to the lady. Wow, she only has 173? Wow, alright. And again, there's just, there's no avoiding these things. Wait, 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 wait. I remembered this time. I remembered. Hey guys, I can learn stuff. It's amazing. There we go. Magnet! It may take us a little longer to defeat him, but considering that I will now have made enough that, uh, that poo can cure that without any problems, and still be gaining a net plus, I'm not going to complain too much. 
And Polly, even without the speed boosting thing, is faster than everything. Why am I not surprised? Ooh, you need to pick it up a notch. I thought you were supposed to be faster than Ness. I mean, come on, Ness is just a white kid. And we all know that they can't do anything sports related. Also, I will take this opportunity. Because it means that I don't have to fight them. Because oddly enough, when you have the drop on someone, you can sneak away. It's one of those factors I really do appreciate in this game. Also being able to avoid them like that, that was nice. Alright, Pooh. Here are the men. Done. Alright. So we continue to run the gauntlet. Like, this is what really makes this tiresome, because it really just is just a gauntlet. Like, there's, there was something that mildly resembled a puzzle, but for the most part it's just a gauntlet that has, has an ending point, if you can find it. Not that it's really that hard. Puzzle-wise, it's not all that interesting. Alright! Freedom! Excellent. And... Well done. You have made it. We finally meet, Prince Pooh. The stars foretold that I would meet you here. So now it's the time to show you the way of the Star Storm. For a while, you must live far away from your friends and live with me. Do you understand? There's only one answer. I must stop you here, even if you don't want to. Stay with me for a while. Do you understand? Okay, that's kind of creepy. It is important that I study and learn the Star Storm. It will be most helpful to us. Once I learn it, I'll meet up with you, Ness. Trust me, I will see you again. It depends on Pooh's efforts. That will determine the reuniting of the group. Be faithful, and wait until the time comes. Alright guys, you heard the man. I guess we have to sit here and wait. For hours. Kidding, we're, we're moving on. Alright, let's see, what do we got here? I am not sure if it was the Dungeon Man, but there is a strange-looking tower to the northwest. This key I picked up a little while ago may be, shall maybe open the tower. You may have it. I do not need it. Paula got the key to the tower. Stupid yawning in the middle of talking. Sorry to bother you, big bro. This is Escargo Express. I had a phone call from your, a friend of yours recently. He asked me to hold on to the Hawkeye for you. Do you know anything about this? Well, since you know about the item, I'll hold on to it for you. If you need it, I'll deliver it to you anytime you want. Oh yeah, big bro. I'm glad I could help out you and your friends. Also, apparently I have dropped a few octaves in my voice. Click. I kind of assumed it was my dad, so I didn't realize. Mm. Still, that is kind of cool that they're just like, no, no, you, you, you don't lose the Hawkeye. It's cool. Since I'm dealing in some pretty rough stuff, I can't run my business in town. I will sell, and you will see why momentarily. Momentarily. Alright, let's see. Diamond band. We can get a ton of money for that. Sell. Let's see. What else are we going to get rid of? Let's get rid of that crystal charm, because we don't need that anymore. Alright, let's sell. Jeff, let's sell your HP sucker. Sweet, I can actually sell that one. That makes me happy inside. And the big bottle rocket is going to go bye-bye. Wow, I didn't get much for that. Of course, it didn't cost that much, but still. Alright, now you will understand the glory of what I have just done. I've got a wide selection. What are you looking for? French fry pan. Yeah, let's start there. Let's, let's start there. Nice. 20 increase, not bad at all. Crusher beam, which is better than what he's got. Alright, Jeff. Yes, you may buy my double beam. For low, it uh, is sellable, so that makes me happy. And now we've got a bazooka, which I think I'm going to refrain from getting, because multi-bottle rockets. Oh, multi-bottle rockets. Plus, Jeff eventually fixes something up that becomes the Heavy Bazooka, so there's that. Alright. 
Shopping spree! Alright, one more multi battle rocket. For Jeffa. And I think that's it for us. Although, actually, let me quick double check. And those are a lot of UFOs. What the hell? Um, okay, yeah, no, we're good. Nope, running, 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 running. Also, apparently, there's nothing over here, so I do have to go that way. And son of a crap! I don't. These things move really. Ooh, what are you? I don't even know if I can catch you. The Marauder Octava, huh? Alright, Paula, freeze the crap out of this sucker, because I don't even want to deal with it. Apparently it's not weak to that. Awesome. Vulnerable to fire. Ah. Alright, you know what? I don't even care. I will burn the crap out of you. And shoot you. As is appropriate. That is a waste of PP. Alright. Took him out before he could steal something, which is good, because I just paid $2,000 for these things. Hello? Pop! Oh, and by the way, look at that experience gain. We just gained more from that little dude than we got from bosses. Because as with all JRPGs, there has to be one enemy that is absurdly, that is either easy to defeat or difficult to defeat, but either way, hard to find. That gives you absurd amounts of experience. That's just a requirement, isn't it? Nest made it to level 50. Wow. That's, um, hmm. That's quite a milestone. Looks like you, you could enter, but it's locked. Well, I think I can handle that. Key to the tower. The key worked to open the door. You may enter. Welcome. You are inside of my body. Brick Road. Alright. My statistics show about 70% of the people go to the right first. Well, you know what? I'm daring to be different. I'm going to go to the one next to the one on the right. Good night, Bench. May you relax and recover your health and spirits. I love free hotels in which Jeff can fix things. Alright, I have a slime generator which I can now sell. And actually, since we have this, let's call it Escargo Express. Whoa. Okay, that was oddly specific. Are you calling about the delivery of the Hawkeye? Uh, yeah. yeah that's, the, that's the idea. Can they make it out here? Apparently so. Escargo Express is amazing. We treat your package like it was our only child. I'm here to deliver the Hawkeye. You know, if you were treating it like your only child, wouldn't that mean that you would never give it up? Ever? Wow, they even did it for free. Huh. I did not know that. Hmm. Well, that's kind of cool. Uh, do I need to use the key again? Apparently I don't, but it's not letting me in. Oh, okay, I have to actually, like, click to use it. Alright. So we're back with the Hawkeye. Which is good, because we needed it. Good night, Bench. Well, we were just so tired from dealing with that Escargo Express guy. Alright, what else do we have in this mysterious dungeon man? Aside from presents that attack me upon waking. Hmm, Mr. Mmm. Alright, you know what, since we're next to the goodnight bench, and what could possibly go wrong... Let's use all of our stuff. Pop. See, and now, this time, we got the drop on you, because we've got Paula this time. Of course, it appears that these are actually different versions of the ones that we saw in the department store. Or maybe not, I don't know. We didn't see very many things in the department store, because we were too busy trying not to die. And failing at that time. The counter PSI unit, huh? Well, that's interesting. Alright then. So, what do we have over here? It is a dungeon owner's obligation to hire a doctor and a nurse. But, Crowd. Alright, well, let's deposit some of our money because, well, honestly. Whoa, we have 23. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that, that, that's right. I have an absurd amount of money for a 12 year old. Alright, let's see, so... What does it look like? Oh, it's actually like a different area. And they've got all three of the essentials. Nice!
Actually, did I did I rest up? I think I just did. Yeah, I did. Okay. All right. Now that we've done that, let's go to the right. Keep this board in mind. Brick road. Well, I don't know why, but even though you can't get up there now, you might be able to later. Brick road. Don't ask me how he has an accent even in his writing, but he does. Your first goal is to reach the four ropes. Quick road. And now that we know that, unfortunately we are out of time for this episode. So, thank you guys for watching. Join me next time where we will be exploring more of Dungeon Man's innards. Don't question that too thoroughly. Regardless, hope to see you then.